So at Hoagie, we group our soft baits into two categories, unrigged and pre-rigged. Now, unrigged soft baits like this Hoagie Original I'm holding here are great because you can customize your rigging. You can make them weedless. Uh, you can make them swim a bunch of different ways. They're very interactive, very hands-on. Uh, I view unrigged soft baits to be a great way to fish them, you know, either top water or just subsurface. It's fun light tackle, uh, great, you know, here on Cape Cod, very popular top water striper lure. Now, the other major category is the pre-rigged. And pre-rigs, um, we like to think that they come in three configurations. One with a paddle tail. The other most common one is with an eel tail. And then lastly, here I have what we call the slow tail. The slow tail has two little tails facing outward. Um, so back to the top with the paddle tail. This is a great medium to medium fast retrieve. Uh, depending on the weight, they can both be cast and jigged. Um, and these are great uh, search baits. Um, they're great. Uh, they, they range in a number of different sizes. Good imitator of herring or larger bait fish. You can cast them on heavier gear with the heavier weights. You can fish in deeper water with the heavier weights. But they also go down to you know, a little small, you know, cute little peanut size like this. But the pro tail paddles, the paddles we have here, um, can be cast on just about any type of rod you can imagine. Medium fast, you can jig them, fish them, you know, any number of different situations. Now the eel tail I view as a slow to medium retrieve where it's a very subtle retrieve. You want to impart a little more rod action than you would the paddle tail, where again, the paddle tail is going to kick and swim on its own. The eel tail, you're going to give it the action with your rod tip. So it's slightly more interactive than a paddle tail. It's a good imitator of a sand eel or an eel. You can fish it slow. Again, you can cast and jig these. Uh, when I jig these, I jig them very slow and you have that bait just rise and fall, very subtle. I'm fishing them from a beach. You know, it's a great short game bait in dark in and around the surf. But it's just a nice sand eel imitation or eel imitation. And then lastly, we have the slow tail. And this is important to us because these tails, you'll notice that they're facing outward from the lure and they're very thin, very ribbon shaped. And what that's going to do is allow action on the slure at the slowest of retrieve speeds. So this is popular with anglers in flats where they want to, you know, fish a bait slow, but they you know, want a little action. Uh, these small slow tails are good. And you know, when you have very, very finicky fish, it happens here on Cape Cod when they're keyed in on krill. Um, but the slow tails, any situation where you want a super slow retrieve, whether it's to keep the lure in the strike zone, um, or to entice a very, very finicky fish. These are a super slow bait and are a very valuable player in your arsenal, especially when you find super finicky fish. But to recap, you have unrigged, I view as top water baits, and then the pre-rigged as subsurface or deeper water baits. The pre-rigged come in a variety of weights. Um, you know, in Hoagie, we go all the way up to six ounces and as light as um, half an ounce. You, know, you have the paddle tails, it makes a good search bait, herring imitation, eel tails, sand eel or eel imitation, and lastly the slow tail, which again is your bait when you want to fish at the slowest speeds but with action.